Hi, my name is Alex. I'm going to show you how to use Splinks for uh, building hotspot networks. First of all, we need to add routers, which we'll be using, which we'll be using for a hotspot network. So these two routers we are going to use. We are connecting them uh, through radius. So that the router is a Mikrotik router, and a radius we set up IP address of the Splinks, and we define that hotspot authentication is made through radius. Okay, also we need to define some other stuff here in Mikrotik, so we create a hotspot and server profile we have a hotspot and also things like uh, IP DHCP server we must create with a proper pool of network and IP pool. So when this is done on the Mikrotik side we are ready to authenticate users using radius and hotspot feature of Mikrotik. So here we have a router, so let's click on that router and check what we have there. Authorization authentication is hotspot radius and uh, radius is accounting. The secret and IP address that we are going to use. So let's check some customer. So at the moment we immediately can authenticate our regular customers through hotspot. So just hotspot is another access type. So this service internet Wi-Fi, let's go there let's say that we are not going to use IP address from uh, um, Splinks but uh, the IP address will be assigned by Mikrotik itself so router will assign IP save and let's go there and connect as user number 5 to the hotspot network so 0005 uh, once again Okay, 00005 is my login and the password I'm entering. Yeah, successfully logged in. So we can see also in the net in the administration logs that there is a log of all radius connections. So there is a radius short. We can just click on it and uh, check that user number five access the network and login. So this is the simple way how to authenticate our users with the hotspot feature. Here we can check just on IP hotspot active users, that's user 005, received some local IP address and there is some res receive and transmit rate showing that customer is active. So what is the next hotspot feature. Let me just connect back to my network. Um, together with that hotspot feature, which is authentication of simple customers, we can generate prepaid cards or prepaid vouchers. So let's make 10 cards with a prefix, for example, the hotel will set up, oh, let's say my hotel, so that will be the name of the prefix on each voucher and the price of 10 dollars. Um, speed for that cards or for that vouchers will be 1000 Ks, so 1 meg, upload, download, and traffic total, upload and download will be 2 gigabytes. We can define also the maximum online time of that voucher, so it can be online up to 50 hours maximum, and the card is valid till end of February, so it must be activated now, or we can set up that it will be disabled after some time of usage. So okay, let's make it till the end of February and generate series of cards. So we have 10 cards generated with the logins. All these logins can be changed. We can change it here with the prefix and so also we can change the password, but I'm going to define that this voucher is used by John Smith with an email and I will set up remark when it was sold. So it was sold 2nd of February 2016. Okay, uh, I can add also the room number. John Smith is number 25. So now what I can do is I can just copy that credentials because this is login, I need also the password. So I'll copy login and password somewhere and connect to the network with this new login and password. Okay, let me save it. And now let's reconnect to the hotspot network.
So I'm reconnecting back and putting these values to the hotspot page. And copy and paste password. Okay, so again successfully logged in. And now if we refresh, we will see this customer is online and he's starting to use this voucher. So here is the series. We can export all that generated cards with a PDF, for example. Let's export it. So this is the view. This is completely customizable, so we can change the whole design of export cards. And also we can save it as a CSV for printing vouchers. So this is the CSV file with the credentials and passwords and everything. Yeah, this is done. And let's check if our customer is online and check his statistics. So he's downloading something. Yes, that's the customer. He's online and he already got 38 megs downloaded. Let's check his statistics. Here we have his session and upload, download and access server, the IP address of router where he is connected at the moment. So this is his graph of usage and also we have a table of all his sessions. So that's all about Hotspot at the moment. We are working on connecting it with PayPal and other important features. Thank you for your time.